Hey everyone, Jeffrey Way here with a new NetTouch video quick tip for Twitter. This time we're going to be talking about uh, WordPress and formatting the date. So if you can see here, I'm working on my new site. Don't pay too much attention to it, it's a big work in progress. But a few of you, when I sent out snapshots, asked how I was able to get this little feature here where it's all selectable, it's rotated, and how we did that, how I did that with the WordPress. So I'm going to teach you that today. Uh, before I begin, props go out to Chris Corrier at CSS Tricks and Jonathan Snook for the original idea of using uh, rotation to format your date a little bit more pretty. So thank you to them. Now let's get into the WordPress. Here's my theme and my index page. The only thing you need to worry about here is right here. Don't even look in everywhere else. It's just random code. So here, uh, we could do something like PHP the date. And if we come back and refresh the page, you'll see at the top it's formatted and it's fine. But if we go down, you'll see there's none here. And then there's another one here. And it's because the date only works for the first instance uh, for that day. So here, this one was posted the same day, and it doesn't show up at all. So the remedy is to do the time. If I come back, refresh the page. Uh, now it displays at the actual time. And then we can format that if we want. We could do year month, day, come back, refresh the page, and that's displaying just fine. However, there is one problem with the time is that, to the best of my knowledge, you can't assign it to a variable. And what we would want to do is assign that to a variable and then split up this date according to the dash, and then you could assign you know, the first item in the array to the month, second to the year, etc. But you can't assign it to a variable, it just displays automatically. So, luckily, there's a much easier way to do it. What we'll do here is we're going to wrap this within a div with the class of article date. This is just for the styling, which we won't be going over too much. And then within here, I'm going to add some spans. So the first one is going to be date. And within here, we're going to do the time. But rather than doing year, month, day, all we're going to do is the day. Okay. And the next one is going to be the year. And the final one is going to be the month. So for the year, we're going to do a capital Y. There's a big list. If you search PHP uh, date formatting, there's a plethora of different options. And here, we want to do the month. But rather than September or 09, we want the short form of SEP. And the way you can do that is rather than M, do an uppercase M. So if I come back, refresh the page, it's displaying just fine. Now, if you want to take a look, you see we each one of those is within their own span, and that's how I was able to um, target each span and style it differently. And I don't want to go over this, the styling too much, but just in case you're interested, uh, a lot of this was taken actually from the two guys mentioned at the beginning. Uh, but mostly you can see uh, a lot of CSS3 properties. We have the span date, the span year, and the span month. Uh, if you're interested, the span year, uh, as reference from Jonathan Stunk, we do um, a Firefox and WebKit. We do Moz Transform and we rotate it negative 90 degrees. And that gets it to turn on its side. And then I simply use uh, Position Absolute and position it uh, accordingly as I want. And the rest is just, you know, setting background colors. One nice little feature is using uh, the box shadow. If you see with the day, you can see a text shadow. And that just adds a one pixel border just to give it kind of that inset. And you probably can't see it here, but if you look real closely, there's one, it looks like a little one pixel border, and it just adds a little bit of a nicer feature. But the main thing I wanted to show you is how you can use the time and just pass in the single digit to, um, to separate your comments accordingly. So a couple of you asked me how I did that, and that is how. Thank you guys so much. Be sure to follow NetTuts for more tips and tutorials. Bye.